It's no secret that our fertility decreases as we get older. But despite that, more women than ever are having children later in life, many in their late 30s. So this begs the question, what are the chances of getting pregnant at different ages? We'll answer that question and dive into why our fertility decreases as we get older, how age affects men's fertility, plus we'll take a look at whether there are ways of prolonging our fertile years, tips for improving your chances of conceiving, and when to reach out to a doctor for help. So, what are the chances of getting pregnant at different ages? This question doesn't have a straightforward answer, and the truth is that everyone has their own personal fertility journey. Some might get their positive test already in the first month of trying, while others need to wait longer, and it's completely normal that it takes some time. Age aside, fertility can also be affected by many factors related to health and lifestyle, as well as conditions like PCOS and endometriosis. However, most couples who are actively trying to conceive and don't have any issue with fertility do so within a year. In a study on Natural Cycles users, we found that the median time to conceive for those who used NC planned pregnancy was four cycles. Those under the age of 35 with a regular cycle and no fertility issues had a median time to conceive of only two cycles. One way of looking at the average time to get pregnant at different ages is by counting how many women in certain age groups become pregnant within a set period of time. Different studies will show slightly different estimates, but the main take-home messages are very similar. So we'll focus on the findings from one study of 2,962 participants to keep things simple. In this graph, you can see the percentage of women with no known fertility issues who got pregnant within 6 and 12 cycles. From the graph, we can clearly see that age impacts the likelihood of getting pregnant with higher percentages during the 20s and early 30s, and lower in the late 30s and 40s. Now that you've got a clear idea of how age impacts female fertility, let's dig into the specifics. What are the chances of getting pregnant in your 20s? Our 20s are generally when we're the most fertile. According to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, ACOG, the odds of getting pregnant are roughly 25% in each individual menstrual cycle during our 20s. The research shows that in the early 20s, 21 through 24 years, almost 57% of women got pregnant within six menstrual cycles, while 71% conceived within 12 cycles of trying. These numbers even increased a bit during the mid to late 20s. Women between 25 and 27 had the highest chances of conceiving within 12 months, and the age group 28 to 30 were the most likely to get pregnant within six cycles. To summarize, we have a good chance of getting pregnant during our 20s, and this is the age when the average time to get pregnant is the shortest, statistically. But again, everyone is different, so try not to worry if it doesn't happen right away. What are the chances of getting pregnant in your 30s? In our 30s, and especially in the early 30s, the chance of getting pregnant remains high and is quite similar to how it is in our 20s, although it starts to decline a little. This then picks up in our mid-30s. The study found that between the ages of 31 and 33, 61% of women got pregnant within 6 cycles and 77% did so within 12 cycles. These numbers were slightly lower for the group aged 34 to 36, where 56% got pregnant within 6 cycles and 75% conceived within 12 cycles. A more significant drop in the likelihood of pregnancy happened during the late 30s. Between the ages of 37 and 39, 46% got pregnant within 6 cycles, and 67% within 12 cycles. All in all, it can take a little longer to conceive in our 30s compared to our 20s, especially in the later part of this decade, but chances are still good that you'll get pregnant within a year. However, if you're in your late 30s, have any known fertility issues, or have tried for over a year without success, it's a good idea to speak with your doctor. There are options available that can help. What are the chances of getting pregnant in your 40s? Fertility rates decrease even further in our 40s. It's estimated that the odds of conceiving in any individual menstrual cycle have decreased to 5-10% to by the time we're 40, compared to 25% in our 20s. Those numbers may sound worrying, but many are still able to become pregnant at this age. Coming back to the research, about 28% of women between 40 and 45 become pregnant within 6 cycles of trying, while almost 56% became pregnant within 12 cycles. 
However, it's important to note that this study only looked at women who didn't have any issues with their fertility, and as we get older, conditions like fibroids that can affect fertility become more common. If you're over 40 and looking to get pregnant, it's a good idea to reach out to your healthcare provider to make sure you get help right away if needed. Let's take a moment to talk about age and pregnancy loss. The chance of becoming pregnant is not the only thing that's affected by age. We also have a higher risk of miscarriage as we get older. One large Norwegian study, which included over 420,000 pregnancies, found that women in their 20s have around a 10% risk of miscarriage. This number then increases starting in the early 30s, and by the age of 45, the risk is over 50%. Pregnancy loss is a sensitive topic, surrounded by stigma, but we think it's an important one to talk about openly. If you've gone through a pregnancy loss, know that you're not alone, however you choose to process it. Your healthcare provider can also help with resources if you have questions or are worried about pregnancy loss. So why does fertility decrease as we get older? The menstrual cycle, and more specifically ovulation, lies at the core of female fertility. During ovulation, an egg cell is released from the ovaries and travels down the fallopian tubes where it can be fertilized by sperm, resulting in pregnancy. We enter our fertile years when we start ovulating during puberty and we stop being fertile entirely when we reach menopause. So, our fertility is closely linked to our eggs, both how many we have and their quality. It's worth mentioning here that it takes two to get pregnant, and also for men, both age and lifestyle factors can impact their ability to conceive. Let's talk about the ovarian reserve. Did you know that you're born with all your eggs? The exact number of eggs we have to begin with varies widely from person to person, but a common estimate is that we're born with between one and two million eggs. This is called the ovarian reserve, or more simply put, the egg reserve. By the time we reach puberty, the ovarian reserve has already dropped to around three to 500,000 eggs, and from that point, it continues to decrease by 1,000 eggs per month. It may sound a bit alarming to hear that we lose 1,000 eggs each month, but this is a completely natural process in our bodies. During a typical cycle, only one egg cell matures enough to actually be released during ovulation. The rest of the eggs that have been in the process of maturing at the same time, but don't get selected for ovulation, are reabsorbed by the body and lost in the process. Hyperovulation, when more than one egg is released, can also happen occasionally resulting in fraternal twins if they're fertilized. The rate at which the eggs are lost increases in our mid-30s, which is one of the main reasons why our fertility declines more rapidly at this age. At age 37, we're estimated to have around 25,000 eggs left, and by the time we reach menopause, only 1,000 eggs remain. But what about the quality of egg cells? It's not just the number of eggs that affects fertility, it's also the quality. After all, we only ovulate about 450 times in our lifetime, even though we have several hundred thousand eggs when we reach puberty. Not all eggs have the potential to be fertilized. As we get older, we also have fewer high-quality eggs left, which is why older women have a higher risk of chromosomal abnormalities and miscarriages. We're also more likely to have complications during pregnancy, such as preeclampsia, which is likely because we tend to have more health issues in general as we age. We know this can be a scary subject, but it's not all doom and gloom. More and more people are able to have healthy pregnancies in their late 30s and 40s. All that's needed is for one sperm to reach a healthy egg cell for pregnancy to happen. Advances in fertility treatments and technology also help us become pregnant later in life than what's been possible historically. Let's talk about the men for a bit. How does age affect men's fertility? When it comes to fertility and age, there's a lot of focus on how women's fertility decreases as we get older. Men, on the other hand, have the ability to impregnate women well into their advanced years. There's no hard limit, and there are men who father children into their 70s and above. However, it's estimated that in around one-third of cases where a couple has trouble conceiving, it's the man who has some fertility issue. While in one-third of cases, the issue lies with the woman, and one-third are due to unknown reasons or a combination of both. Age does affect men's fertility as well, but not as much compared to women, and it's less clear exactly at what age these effects become apparent. Studies have found that the quality of sperm decreases as men get older, including how many sperm cells are in ejaculate, the sperm's ability to move, and their shape. 
While older men are often still fertile, the age of the male partner does impact the female partner's chance of getting pregnant, and it can take longer to conceive if the man is older. It's also important to note that other lifestyle factors like smoking, drinking, diet, and exercise can also affect sperm quality. At what age are you most fertile? Statistically, we're the most fertile in our 20s and early 30s. At this age, we still have a lot of eggs in our ovarian reserve, and a large percentage of them are healthy. A majority of women become pregnant within a year of trying at this age. Not everyone is ready to be a parent in their 20s, so even though this might be the age when we're physically primed to start having kids, there are plenty of reasons people might choose to wait. However, it's still good to be aware of what to expect when trying to get pregnant at different ages so that you can plan accordingly if you know you want children. So, when does fertility start to decline? Our fertility begins to decline in our 30s, around the age of 32, though it's slow at first. Around the age of 35, we start to lose our egg reserve more rapidly. However, even though our egg reserve becomes lower in our late 30s, you can still become pregnant as long as you're ovulating. Plenty of people have kids after the age of 35. It might just take a little longer. There are also options to help if you're struggling with getting pregnant. More on that later. So make sure you reach out to your healthcare provider to see what your alternatives are. Okay, but can you increase your fertility at any age? There's no way of really counteracting the effects of age on fertility. We can't stop our eggs from becoming fewer over time. Our chances of conceiving will naturally decrease as we get older, regardless of how healthy we are overall. However, there are some options available that can help you get pregnant. In vitro fertilization, also known as IVF. During IVF, you're given hormones to stimulate your ovaries so that more eggs mature than what's typical during a normal menstrual cycle. The eggs are then extracted and fertilized in a lab, and the embryos are later implanted into your uterus. IVF can be an effective treatment with high success rates, roughly 39% of women under 35. However, one common misconception is that IVF can completely counteract aging, so it's good to be aware that the success rate of IVF also decreases with age. Egg donation IVF with donated eggs can be an option if you're not able to use your own for any reason, and using donated eggs from a younger woman can increase the chances of a successful pregnancy during IVF. During an egg donation, eggs from the donor are extracted and fertilized in the same way as in the normal IVF process, and the recipient takes hormones to prepare the uterus for the embryo transfer. Egg freezing. This has become an increasingly popular way of extending the fertile years, and it's sometimes referred to as social egg freezing. During an egg freezing cycle, you're given hormones to stimulate your ovaries so that more eggs than usual mature, and the eggs are then extracted so that they can be frozen and stored until you're ready to use them. Egg freezing can be costly, and there are some risks involved with taking hormones to stimulate the ovaries, so it's not an option for everyone. Which treatment options are available to you will vary depending on your individual needs, so make sure to reach out to your healthcare provider if you have any questions about your fertility or any of the treatments listed here so that you can get the right help. Is there a way to improve your chances of getting pregnant naturally? We spoke with our medical advisory board member, Dr. Natalie Crawford, about this. You can't change your age or go back in time, but it is not the only thing impacting our fertility. I always like to say that all of our cells age together. We get wrinkles and back pain and our eggs get older too. The same factors that keep you healthy can also improve your egg quality. Similarly, the factors that cause inflammation are toxic and lead to an increased rate of cellular damage inside our eggs. This is why I always recommend you control the factors you can to limit inflammation and improve your egg quality in the ways that you can. Diet, exercise, sleep, stress management, and limiting toxins. Let's dive into some ways you can optimize your chances of becoming pregnant. Diet and exercise. Though research in this area is limited, maintaining a healthy lifestyle and weight through diet and exercise may have a positive impact on our fertility. Focus on nutrient-rich foods with a balance of carbs, healthy fats, protein, and fiber, and try to exercise regularly in a way you enjoy. Limit alcohol. Research has found that drinking large amounts of alcohol can have a negative impact on fertility. Though this topic hasn't been studied enough to say exactly at what doses this happens, studies have found that drinking enough to become hungover can lower the chances of becoming pregnant. Everyone is different, and while you can most likely still enjoy a drink here and there, it's a good idea to limit your alcohol intake while you're trying to get pregnant. Don't smoke. 
Smoking has been linked with lower fertility in general, and some research has found that it can lead to a faster decline in the ovarian reserve. There is some research that suggests that stress can have a negative impact on our fertility, so reducing your stress levels may help increase your chances. We know this isn't always easy, and trying to conceive can be stressful in and of itself. But try to be kind to yourself and find ways of recharging that work for you, whether it's going for a walk in nature or just taking a few minutes to focus on your breathing. Get to know your menstrual cycle. Did you know you're not fertile 24-7? In fact, you can only get pregnant during a six-day long fertile window in each cycle, the five days before ovulation and on ovulation day. So timing intercourse during those fertile days is crucial when trying to conceive. Getting to know your own cycle through tracking your period and other fertility signs like cervical mucus, cervix position, LH, or body temperature can help you understand when you're fertile so that you can plan sex accordingly. Use natural cycles. Our temperature-based algorithm does the hard work for you, identifying your fertile window so that you know which days you have the highest chance of conceiving in each individual menstrual cycle. Simply measure your temperature with one of our integrated devices add your period dates and optional ovulation tests, and the NC app does the rest. Our research has found that couples who use NC planned pregnancy to conceive take three cycles to get pregnant on average. With all of these tips in mind, we also recognize that the path to pregnancy looks different for everyone. We know that it's easy to start worrying if it doesn't happen right away, but it's normal that it takes some time to become pregnant, even if you're following all the guidelines. If you feel worried for any reason, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor who can give you personalized advice, and though it's easier said than done, try not to stress too much. So, given that it's natural for it to take a while to get pregnant, when should you reach out to your doctor? The guidelines differ a bit depending on age and where you live. If you're under the age of 35 and don't have any known fertility issues, you're usually recommended to try on your own for a year before contacting your healthcare provider. If you're over the age of 35, you're recommended to try for six months. However, there are also some exceptions where you should reach out to your healthcare provider sooner. If you're over the age of 40, or if you have any condition that might impact fertility, such as PCOS or endometriosis, you should reach out right away when to start trying to make sure you get the right support as soon as possible. With the amount of information and advice out there around planning a pregnancy, it's easy to get overwhelmed by looking at different guidelines, statistics, and pregnancy success rates. Here at Natural Cycles, we believe that everyone should have the information that they need to take control of their own fertility journey. NC Planned Pregnancy can help you do just that by showing you which days you have the highest chances of conceiving in each cycle based on individual cycle information. We've helped over 160,000 couples get pregnant. Why not see if Natural Cycles could be right for you? 